What an absolutely perfect night for some soccer. The LA Galaxy and the Vancouver Whitecaps getting set for a big matchup. ...by New York on Wednesday. Rookie striker Darren Maddox returns to lead the attack after suspension with Camillo dropping to the bench. Two changes to his midweek team. Hector Jimenez comes in on the right side of midfield and Robbie Keane, fresh back from Euro 2012. Well, the Home Depot Centre is where the Stars come out to play. So can the Whitecaps contain the Galaxy an inch closer to the playoffs under Martin Rennie's regime. Vancouver unbeaten in the last five starts, but this is the first of five straight road games tonight. Third corner for the Galaxy and for Beckham. Deeper this time towards the far post. It's pinging around. It's off the line, but it's in. It's the opening goal. It's Mike McGee, scored the other night, scored again tonight, and the Galaxy lead the Whitecaps by a goal to nil. You know what, bit of a scramble, but it comes from Beckham. He doesn't curl that one this time, he puts his laces right through it, looks at the back area, knows there's a man empty there, and they can play off the scraps. But again, it comes from Beckham's service. We talked about not allowing free kicks, set pieces, puts his foot right through it. Knows, he knows exactly where this one's going, and that's called world class. Again, you're taught as a player, if you can't score, put on the frame, you'll get the bits. Cannon's done ever so well to try to keep it out. But again, that's two goals, set pieces in two games for the Whitecaps. Against them, they're not going to be happy about that. McGee's job was the simplest in the end. It took an age to get to him. Cannon was heroic trying to keep it off the goal line, but all he could do was parry it to Mike McGee. Bonjour. For Demerit. Well, he had to be quick, and he's been dispossessed by Donovan. Donovan could be in here. Donovan one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper who's dragged it across goal. When he really should have at least tested the goalkeeper or put it on frame, and Donovan will be disgusted with himself. Yeah, I don't think he's too happy about that either. He was, he was uh, yelling for it aside the side there, you know, but again, he's not getting to it. They look a little step. Looks like it's lethargic today, the Whitecaps. I don't know if it's that game on the week, the flight. I... But they're threatening a second here. Beckham now over on that far side. Donovan. Donovan. Keane. Keane looking to pull the trigger. Keane has pulled the trigger. He's doubled the Galaxy's lead. And just before the half hour mark, Keane's back from the Euros. He's back on the score sheet. Galaxy lead the Whitecaps 2 0. Yeah, there's been some early warning signs from the Whitecaps. And I tell you what, they are paying the price right now. They are definitely paying the price. I mean, that is far, far, far too easy there. Far too easy. You know, that's, that's about a commitment we talked about before. You're on the road now for five games. You've got to be far more committed than that. And you've got to be able to, You can't let a guy walk in the box and just slide in and go like that. No matter if his name is Keane. This is too easy. we have got numbers there. But they just... No one's attacking it, letting it go through. Bonjour is terrible defending by Bonjour. Terrible. There were three dark blue shirts there after the ball gets to Keane and not one of them gets in an effective tackle. I mean, obviously, they don't want to make the challenge and give the penalty away. For the Whitecaps, goals on 16 and just on the half hour. McGee, there might be another. Donovan's away, one-on-one. -on -one. Is this the third? Oh, he's missed it. He's had two chances in the last four minutes. He should have scored them both. He hasn't hit the frame with either. Now, again, you know, you're talking, he's got to have much more composure than that. But look, again, Bonjour, he's just giving it. Doesn't take the red card by pulling him down, but again, you know, credit Joe Cannon, he's come out and cut the angle up, but I can just see Martin Ray telling his boys, calm down, settle down, boys. You know, just keep the ball, keep passing it, but right now it just looks so disorganized right now. Here's the thing, there is always a matter of respecting your opponents, and you have to do that, you can't go out gung-ho in any game. So that's Donovan, all the way back there, helping out in defense. Keane is onside, there is no flag, Robbie Keane oh, tried to chip him, was it a handball? It was, it's a penalty, and a chance for a third for the Galaxy. How does that goal come about? Well, shots line is terrible, he's come way off. Now you got Demerit chasing Keane on the way back, but in general, you got a three, three center back, or two center backs and right fullback pushed up, and you got shot about five yards up, allows him to run that gap. Captain Donovan for three, it is three. It's all so easy for the LA Galaxy. 
five for the season for the captain. And the Galaxy in total control with five minutes to go to half-time. Whitecaps in big trouble. They're three down. Yeah, a little bit of gamemanship by uh, Mr. Cannon there. Didn't quite work out. But, I mean, I don't get that. I mean, that, to me, that, that's, a, that's a booking. You know, the interfere with the ball, he's placed it there. But, again, Donovan's nice and calm. I thought maybe Joe would have a chance this one basically down the middle of the pipe. And there you go. 3-0, and this is going to be tough to come back from the Whitecaps. This is going to really, really test their courage, their commitment, and how, how much they're going to fight for this one. One doesn't want to tempt fate here, but you could almost say that 3-0 at home. But here they come again, by the way, through McGee. McGee will shoot. And it needed the save from Cannon. You could almost say, you know, it's, it's getting to that almost game over stage. Yes, there's 45 minutes to go, score the goal, and then say, well... If you think you can equalise, that's fine, but you've got to get the ball back first. The two, that's a better ball. Camilo, Camilo! Ooh. Well, with virtually his first touch of the football, the little Brazilian almost reduced the arrears. Yeah, he's got on, on, the, on the side. He's a left, he's a right footer, but he's coming off the left side. He's coming in. There's a little gap to talk about. I guess it was a two just finds him in there. Just misses the far post, but you can see the way that Whitecaps is set up now. But can they stop? The magic right foot of David Beckham. Well, by his high standards, that wasn't one of his best. No, it was poor. I mean, you'd think for Beckham at least hit the target, but uh, I think Joe Cannon was quite happy to see it go by his post, that's for sure. He's not happy about something. Not this time. Maybe a little bit of a passenger in these closing moments. Shouldn't make a difference. The uh, shot it required the save from Camilo, and Saunders dot down quickly to his left to parry it away. Yeah, Camilo's been lobbies to spin on, you know, it's been a tough night for everybody, but at least a little bit of spark there. Stevens again, just a matter of how much time the referee wants to add, there can't be much more, just takes a glance at his watch, and he blows up for full time. In truth, it was over as a contest long before 90 minutes was up. Three straight wins for the LA Galaxy. Robbie Keane among the goal scorers, as was Mike McGee, and a penalty from Landon Donovan. No luck for Vancouver on the first game of a long road trip.